YouTube, we meet again. It's me, Tone, T-O-O-N-E. And today, it's not so much about definitions. I'm going to go a little bit into the definition of what they call the space vacuum because I think it's interesting. Uh, not much to do with law. This is a little more to do with the nature of our reality. right? And so, I'm going to talk about the space vacuum. <clears throat> and uh, and the levitating, spinning, floating ball of gas that they call Earth. So, what we're going to do is here you see, uh, you got these little globe things that they kind of have on this fixed axle that they show us in school since we're children, right? And they tell you that this is what it is the whole time. Then underneath that, and I would imagine to for their for their concept to make any sense, it would have to be on a swivel like this, right? Because how would it be floating here, just on nothing? So underneath here, you have the little floating um, gas balls, right? Uh, that are spinning it some something crazy. I don't even know all the real numbers to be to be honest with you. I just know it's uh, it's not possible. <laughs> That's what I do know is that that shit is not possible. So. Because everything would fly the hell off the earth. Real simple. You know what I'm saying? So we live in a floating gas ball like this. So I wonder. I'm like, okay, so. How it? How is it floating? Right? Okay. So you may say, oh, well, have you ever seen one of those little uh, devices that you can put on your, uh, on your nightstand? And it's got a magnetic levitating earth like this here, right? Okay, cool. I can see that. So yeah, maybe that could be the case, right? But uh, because you could reproduce this here here on Earth. So otherwise, it's just a theory, right? If you can't, re real science is reproducible every single time the same exact way. That's what science is. If you cannot reproduce it, it is a concept. It is a theory. It doesn't even got to be a working theory. It could be a running theory that these people are running with for whatever reason. And they want you to keep up. So anyway, a levitating ball here. Okay, so... You could reproduce that on Earth, so that's not really that really that far far fetched. You know, it's feasible. So then I ask, well, space, the vacuum of space. Look at this picture. Vacuum of space. Got the grade eight here. Beautiful. Anyway, so they're trying to say that space is a vacuum like that. And as you can see here, the vacuum would be sucking up all the air, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Of course it would, because that's what vacuums do. They suck. They suck. So, look at the type of devices that they use in NASA when they're dealing with the vacuum of space in order to maintain a normal um, air pressure. And air pressure needs a container, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't have this container if air pressure didn't need a container. It does. And the space vacuum is so strong that they need a fucking, excuse my life, that they need a device like this to contain themselves in normal air pressure because the vacuum outside of that is so strong. So what is the atmosphere of Earth and how is it holding out all that vacuum if you have to use a device like this to keep the vacuum out so you don't get sucked into nothing? What's surrounding the Earth that's not letting that vacuum suck everybody off the planet? Because a ball of gas isn't going to do that. Right? So, then we have, this is the uh, device closed. And so people got to be inside that thing in order to, uh, in order to be able to deal with the vacuum in space. What is a vacuum in space? They say it's this. They say it's an ultra high vacuum chamber. Common, in, oh, it's real common in chemistry, physics, and engineering. Operate below one trillionth of atmospheric pressure I'm not even familiar with any of these numbers I'm not even gonna pretend to know what any of this is and can reach around 100 particles and whatever that is outer space is an even higher quality vacuum with the equivalent of just a few hydrogen atoms per cubic meter on average in intergalactic space I don't know what that means I would imagine it means that it would uh, suck all the air out of your lungs and probably suck all your cells out of your body who knows something crazy they want you to believe it's something crazy that's what it is essentially so you see how little bit of pressure it takes here for this carbonated water to just bust out of that can if you shook it up even a little bit right so imagine what would happen if you stop stepped outside of one of those chambers and were exposed to the the crazy vacuums of space what do you think would happen and then you're going to tell me that 
a little bit of gas is somehow going to keep that from uh, from sucking everybody off the planet. You're going to have to reproduce that in a lab, by the way, because you can't just say something like that. And that's not even re reproducible in a lab because it's just it, it goes against the laws of physics, thermodynamics, etc. Common sense, logic, it violates all that. Complete violation. So then here you got this this guy here with a shop vac. And you know, I think they were like, they're like, okay, so here we got a 16 pound ball, 15 pound ball. So this thing can, the shop vac, little shop vac, can suck up a 16 pound bowling ball. So if the vacuum from space was behind that shop vac powering it, it would, it would suck these balls right through that little piece of metal there. That's how strong the vacuum in space is, but somehow a gaseous atmosphere seems to uh, suffice for keeping the air pressure in here when there's an astronomic amount of vacuum uh, pulling pulling against the gas okay so here you see the vacuum getting sucked up I mean the uh, the bowling ball getting sucked up by the by the vacuum here and that's not even that much force to pick that up by the way so I will be ran through all that what I'm looking for is for somebody to show me in a lab a floating ball spinning at the speed that they say it spins at with a gas atmosphere with a vacuum surrounding it i need to see that because if i don't see that then it's not real is it it's just a theory it's a concept and it's not even a good one at that when you know even the simplest kindergartner questions against this theory that every grown person that you know and I know that I know, because I used to believe this shit too, really believe that. But if we're really being honest, and it does take you to be honest to even believe this, because then you're going to have to admit that you got lied to. And you and you did. You did. All of us did. But you're going to have to come to terms with that shit uh, in order to move forward. Or you can just live in our denial, you know what I mean? It's up to you. But, um, but knowledge is power, man. The more you know.